Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're having a lovely day. On this channel, I go over companies that make products that are more difficult to repair on purpose and companies that don't give the consumers what they need to be able to fix their products. But more importantly, we also go over when they don't even give repair shops what they need to be able to fix their products, thereby creating disposable junk that is only serviceable by the manufacturer at their mercy. And a great example of this has been in the personal electric vehicle space with Future Motion, who makes the one wheel. We've gone over them many times. It started with unplugging the battery bricks this device. You have to go back to the manufacturer which is kind of disgusting on a device that has a lithium-ion battery. Lithium-ion batteries die, so if that is the case, that is going to seriously suck. I did a long video on a lot of the problems that these devices have, because similar to Apple, they have a history of these really, really weird design flaws that they never acknowledge and seem to fix. Again, some of them in this video, why the company behind one wheel sucks in five minutes or less. This is a power line, and you can see the connector that they're using, I crap you not, looks like a laptop fan connector, and is obviously overheating and burned because it's passing more than what you would expect to go to a laptop fan. And today, I'd like to, with this video, reveal a design defect that may actually save your life. Because in spite of the fact that this company claims that the reason you can't replace your battery is because they care about your safety and security, they've actually created a device with a wiring harness that is out of this world bad that could actually genuinely hurt you. And I would like to bring this to your attention. So does this look like the battery pack from a company that cares about your safety and security that's really looking out for you when they tell you this is why you can't fix your own product? Or does this look like a product that's being made by a company that had a design flaw that doesn't want to actually admit it's a design flaw so that they could save money? Which one would you guess if it was up to you? This comes on Reddit. This is Attention Pint X Owners Balancing Wires Let's Pack Power. Please verify wiring issues from the factory. I'd love to get this pinned so everyone is aware of it. I had another Pint X on my bench today. It turned off while in use. I opened it up to find once again the balancing wires destroyed. And first for me personally, the negative wire from the pack was broken off completely. This is something that Future Motion has never acknowledged, never discussed, and so far has been present in every Pint X that I've seen. It's flat out dangerous. Between the BMS charging connector melting due to the hypercharger, which again, you can see over here, that is this connector that I showed last year, and the wires breaking, everyone needs to be aware of this. If you have a Pint X, please open up the battery compartment and look at the wiring. It could prevent a nasty spill and, if possible, injury. There's also a Facebook post about it, and they have also made a website dedicated to this, pintxflaw.com. That's pintxflaw.com, and it goes over how you can open this up to get an idea as to what is going on with your board. You don't have to be an expert in lithium-ion batteries or personal electric vehicles to understand that this is a recipe for disaster. Having a wiring harness that is run in a way where this happens to it is very, very bad, and it may at some point lead to serious honest injury. Injury. We are talking about a device that can go 20 miles an hour that you are going to be on with both your feet with one wheel that may or may not stop when this happens and just immediately stop moving or even worse, have the battery go on fire. It, it's, this, is, this is very, very bad. And again, one of the things I've talked about on this channel all the time is whenever a company is trying to take away your freedom and tell you it's to protect you, they are usually projecting and gaslighting. They are the ones that are actually unsafe. Again, the company that says, you need to send the device back to us to replace the battery because we're the only ones qualified to do it properly are the same company that releases a product with this as a charge port and this as a battery wiring harness. When Samsung tells you that we're the only ones that should be able to be able to fix your device because these independent repair centers may put TikTok on your phone, they are the very ones that are actually pre-installing TikTok on your phone. Every single time a company says that we are the ones that need to protect your safety, your security, so we are the only people that should be allowed to do this with your device, your property that you own, I can almost guarantee you it's because they are the ones that are actually unsafe. They they are the ones that are actually insecure and they don't want you to know about it and it's disgusting. Now I know what you're probably thinking. Lewis, why don't you give this company a chance to respond? Maybe they'll take accountability or responsibility. Oh, that's funny. So take a look at Future Motion's response here on pintxflaw.com. It says, thanks for reaching out. I appreciate your concern and desire to make sure that you're doing what you can as a consumer to help ensure the safety and quality of a product you care about. While there have been no confirmed issues with the design of the Pine X, online discussion forums have all sorts of information and misinformation on them. I can assure you, however, that we have shipped an incredible number of Pine Xs all around the world. And the number of boards that have had to come back to our facility for any issue in warranty or out is a very small fraction. You can be confident 
confident that the design of the One Wheel Pint X and all other models are top of the line and extremely safe if used in accordance with the owner's manual. Each One Wheel is designed to make thousands of calculations per second, and if any problems are detected upon power-up, it will flash an error code and will not let you ride. If any problems are detected while in motion, it will flash an error code and initiate extreme pushback, in which the... No, okay, so now at this point we're just getting into can response territory, because pushback and error codes have absolutely nothing to do with this. Like, there's, there's nothing that is going to detect a wire whose insulation is almost completely broken off because it is run in a poor way. This is... They don't care. They don't care. Do you want to give $2,000 to a company for a piece of mobile transportation that is put together like this that clearly doesn't care when brought to their attention? I wouldn't. I know what you're thinking. Make your own one wheel. That would be great if they didn't have a patent that expired in 2035. The worst part of this is that if you actually go on YouTube, before there was ever a patent filed, you can find somebody else who built a prototype of this that actually worked. It's just that that dude didn't patent it. Future Motion did, so they get to be the ones that are selling this until 2035. Anybody who owns this device, I would highly suggest that you take it to an expert to look at to actually go over the wiring harness and make sure it doesn't look like this. And if you want to learn more about the One Wheel or any of these personal electric vehicles, I'd highly suggest that you check out a gentleman who I'm happy to consider a personal friend, Josh Haley from Fiction Factory Boardworks. I did a three-hour interview with him, and I did a two-hour follow-up. This guy is an absolute effing genius. The amount of knowledge that is crammed into his head about these products is just insane. The stuff that he's developed, third-party, all different types of stuff that he's worked on, is it's, it's I, I consider myself personally humbled and honored to know who this guy is and to have gotten to shake his hand and get food with him at Casey's Rib Shack. So really do check him out if you want to learn anything about the One Wheel or maybe get into contact with people who would be able to help or assist you in fixing this in your area. The People that are involved in this community are an absolutely amazing community of people. Again, the company Future Motion, F Future Motion. But the people that are involved in the community of One Wheel Products is one of the most welcoming, kind, caring communities I've ever met. And uh, people like him are, make it a better place. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. Get your pint decks checked out before this becomes dangerous. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now. I kind of want to do a speed test now. I've done it with my bike, that's why I tried to hit 49. Oh, you can hit it. Oh, I'm not dying. There you go. I don't want to get jinxed by that shitty car. Got that? That's okay. Don't worry about it, it's fine. Look at that. It's going up, it's going there. Somebody who already got curb rash on it, so I'm not going to ruin anything. If sure, I'm sure. It's already got the first scratch. Yeah? I promise I'm not going to hit it. Look over here, look over here. Come to me, come to me. There you go. Come to me, come to me. There you go. Easy. You just talk to you Put your knees slightly.